Hello and welcome back everyone to another video going over another champion's top 10 moments. This week we're talking about Darrell Taylor. A challenge OG who got his MTV start on the Road Rules Campus Crawls came onto the challenge in season seven and won four straight challenge championships. Darrell is a class act, strong competitor, who has always given it his all. He has been featured on not only the Challenge main series, but multiple spinoffs stemming from the Challenge Champs vs. Pros, the Spring Break Challenge, All-Stars, the World Championships, and has been featured as a mercenary twice on two different seasons. Now, I've hand-selected 10 moments from Darrell's Challenge career over the course of his many seasons on the Challenge and deemed them the top 10 moments of his Challenge career so far. Now, before getting into Darrell's top 10 moments, let's take a look at some honorable mentions. We first have the O-Ring elimination where Darrell won against Danny. This was an elimination that was really fun to watch, but because Darrell was going up against Danny, a player who had never won an elimination in his entire challenge career, it's hard to put it in the top 10 when it seems like Darrell was a slam dunk to win this elimination, as well as the crunch elimination against Kahuta. Now, Kahuta was the hero of the ruins, especially on the challenger side. He was showing exactly what he was made of by handing Wes his first elimination loss in his challenge career, also beating another champion in Cyrus. But when it came down to facing off against Durrell, well, that was one too many times in an elimination for Kahuta, especially in an elimination that had to deal with crunches and core work. And I just feel like this elimination was in Darrell's back pocket, his performance in All-Stars Season 1. And in All-Stars 1, we got to see vintage Darrell. Darrell finished in second place overall. And if it wasn't for yes on the season, Darrell would have won this. One last honorable mention, and really this is Darrell's top 11th moment in my opinion, and that is winning season eight, The Inferno. Now you might think I'm crazy having a challenge win as an 11th moment or keeping it out of the top 10, but this season the Road Rules team was dominant, winning 11 out of 15 daily challenges. Darrell winning the lifesaver once in episode two. Besides that, he had nothing to worry about. He didn't see a single elimination. And honestly, the Road Rules team dominated the Infernos too, only losing two total eliminations on the season. And once in the finals, Road Rules team dominated that as well. This feels like such a cakewalk of a season for Darrell that I felt like this was more of a team domination performance and that there were other moments that were specifically or directly poised to Darrell or him in a pair that leapfrogged over this moment that I felt could take over in the top 10 moments for him specifically rather than winning the Inferno 2 making the list and I feel like that this encompassed a dominating team moment. Now it's time to get into Darrell's top 10 moments starting out with number 10 and we go to the world championship where we have Darrell and Kiki facing off against Tristan and Kellyanne in the hands-off elimination. In this elimination, both pairs had nine puzzle pieces. The main obstacle was that you had to use giant chopsticks to carry these pieces from one side to the other while also traversing a little mini obstacle course of various balance beams. The first team to transport all nine pieces over to their puzzle station and put the puzzle together would win and stay in the game. Now, according to Darrell and various other confessionals from this episode, this was a very frustrating elimination. Me and Kiki, yeah, versus Kellyanne and Tristan, that was frustrating. Probably one of the most frustrating eliminations that I've had to watch. This elimination was a roller coaster for a while. Tristan and Kellyanne got off to an early lead, and then Darrell and Kiki came roaring back to then lose the lead to Kellyanne and Tristan, and then to retake it late in the elimination. This was a nail biter coming down to the wire to see who would put their puzzle together the quickest, and it lucked out that Darrell and Kiki just edged out, winning this over Kellyanne and Tristan. For Darrell to tell me himself that this was by far one of the hardest eliminations in his challenge career made me feel like I needed to put this in the top 10. Now we go all the way back to season seven for the ninth top moment, and that is his win in the gauntlet. Season seven, the gauntlet was Darrell's debut season on the challenge. Now the format of the season was real world versus road rules, and Darrell was very consistent highly competitive, and he was looked at as a very strong player for his team. Because of that and his social game where he got along with everybody basically in the house, 
he was never in any danger of being voted into the gauntlet. Even if he wasn't the best performing man on his team, he was always consistent, always reliable, and players always seemed to pop up and falter at various different episodes, as well as the Road Rules team had blinders on of wanting to send Sarah Grayson into like every single elimination that they could. And he made it to the finals where his Road Rules team outperformed the real world team. Now let's jump to All Stars 2 where Darrell and Janelle found themselves in an elimination against Brad and Jody. In All-Stars 2, the powerhouse of Brody versus Danelle, were going head-to-head -head in the final elimination. Brad and Jody were having a great season. Darrell and Janelle were also very strong, even though they didn't have as flashy of a resume. The pairs played in the Smash House elimination, getting out all their anger and frustration, by smashing a ton of cinder blocks and random IKEA furniture to try to win their ticket to the final. This elimination came down to just two pounds. Darrell and Janelle were able to pull out this win, get into the finals, and we'll talk about the finals in a little bit. But for now, let's get to the number seven top moment and that is in season 36, where it was Darrell versus Devin in the Dead Ringer elimination. CT and Big T had won into power. His alliance member and friend in the house, Devin, had been voted into the elimination by the house. This is when TJ announced that there was a security breach and that there would be a double elimination. So Devin and Josh were up for nomination because they got the most votes. CT wanted to take on Josh, or as CT called them, the goof. And CT allowed Devin to pick anybody that he wanted to face off against. Devin picked Darrell. It was announced that the two pairs would be facing off against each other in the Dead Ringer elimination where they would have to swing to grab their puzzle pieces that were on poles. And then they had to use those puzzle pieces to solve a Tanagram puzzle. Devin was foaming at the mouth. This puzzle came down to the wire, but Darrell was able to win against Devin, the quote unquote puzzle master. Good at Tangerine puzzles. Tangerine? Tanagram. Next up on Darrell's top moments, his performance in All-Stars 2, Darrell won immunity twice, paired up with his longtime friend Janelle, who was a warrior the way she played through her back injury, then faced adversity late in the game, being sent in against Brad and Jody. Once they won and made it to the final, this is when the game was on. And they were doing a really good job in the first day, but in this final, things were a little shaky on production side. TJ announced that there was a second stage to the finals. And this is where everything really fell apart. After eating some gross food, players had to run on a tarmac to then solve a weird math equation with different symbols and then take that answer to try to open up a safe. Not all of the math problems were the same difficulty level. And then come to find out there was a missing rule at the safe portion. A lot of people felt that this was very unfair. And if the fourth step had been on the board, that possibly maybe Darrell and Janelle should have won. And that's why I have this higher up because there's a lot of sketchiness and tomfoolery where if that had not been the case, maybe Darrell and Janelle could have won this season. Next up on Darrell's top moments, let's go to Champs versus Pros where Darrell not only wins this season, but wins it alongside Cara Maria. Now this was an early challenge spinoff where it pitted challenge champions against pro athletes. Some of the athletes were former WNBA players, former NFL players, pro surfers, pro wrestlers, Olympic athletes, putting them in the realm of the challenge to see who would come out on top. Now for Darrell, not only are you having to go up against these pro athletes, but you're also competing alongside and against challenge champions like Johnny Bananas, Jordan Wisely, CT and Wes. Now, this was for charity and was a challenge spinoff and was only six episodes. So maybe there wasn't as much stress as say on a normal challenge season, but you still had to come in and compete and give it your all every single episode. And what I felt made this win special was that Darrell and Car Maria were paired up together. They ran it back from when they first met on season 19, Fresh Me 2, Cara's debut season, where the pair were eliminated in the first episode. And here they were, years later, both challenge champions at this point, paired up together, running it back, and winning. Now let's go to top moment number four, and that is his win in season 10, Inferno 2. Season 10 was a unique experience for Darrell in his early seasons. The good guys team had a slight edge in winning daily challenges, but they were absolutely decimated in eliminations. 
The good guys lost all but two. Landon was the only player to win an elimination on the good guys side. Now up to that point in Darrell's challenge career, he had never seen an elimination. Because he was always looked at as a vital member, he never had to worry about being voted in. However, way late into the game, there was only a certain amount of options left to who could be voted into an elimination. Mike had been nominated, but saved a couple of times via the lifesaver. Landon had already seen an elimination, and with Darrell being the only good guy man left, Landon and the other members felt that Darrell needed to step up. So when it came down to the crab grab daily challenge, Darrell looked out for himself first, then helped out his team and made sure he got the lifesaver to save himself from ever seeing an elimination on the season. The Fantastic Four of Mike the Miz, Landon, Darrell, and Jamie Chung went into the final and won against the real world team. Now this real world team was stacked. You had Rachel Robinson, Veronica, CT, Derek, Abram, etc. With that list of legends, the more players, the more brain power, I'm sure the group of four felt like this was going to be an uphill battle. But that was on the contrary. The good guys team got out to an early lead and never looked back. And now we're cracking into the top three and at number three, we have in season 29, Invasion of the Champion, Darrell versus Johnny Bananas in Balls In. I don't think Darrell signed up for season 29 expecting he had to face the gauntlet of champions like he did. But he put on quite a show, episodes nine slash 10, he faced Johnny Bananas in a highly contested Balls In. The two highly decorated challenge champions went head to head and gave everybody quite a show. The game was so tough that both men tried to do some Hail Mary heaves and some rounds were close calls. But Darrell was able to pull out the win scoring only one point. I don't think we could have asked for a tougher game between some of the game's best. Now for Darrell's second best moment of his challenge career, we're gonna stay in season 29, Invasion of the Champions, for when Darrell faced off against Zack in a pole wrestle. Now Zack is a big man. And with his size and weight could come more leverage in a game like pole wrestle. Darrell put on a clinic, winning the pole wrestle two rounds to nothing, not giving an inch to the bigger, younger Zach. I mean, I don't think Darrell would have lost, but I thought at least Zach would have gotten a round. But no, Darrell had strategy, he had a plan, he was patient, he was calculated, and he was not only able to outmuscle Zach but outsmart him as well. This was so impressive that he was able to lock in and get this win. And finally, Darrell's top moment in his challenge career is none other than his Fresh Meat season win. Fresh Meat was Darrell's first season that was in a two-team format. It was actually the challenger's first ever season that was in a two-team format. In a season with pairs, you truly find out how strong of friendships you have. And this season proved Darrell had a strong social game. Darrell and Aviv won two daily challenges, but this season was unique in which Darrell saw his first elimination. He was going up against Alliance member and good friend Derek. This elimination was very emotional. This was so late in the game. It was the final exile right before the final and Darrell and Aviv was able to pull out the win, get the last spot to the final. They had some tough competition going up against Tina and Kenny and Wes and Casey. But it was in the final that Darrell and Aviv was able to get the win, setting a challenge record for most consecutive wins, as well as setting a record for the most wins by a person that would last up until Johnny Bananas won his fifth championship in season 25 free agents. And then he wouldn't be surpassed by CT until season 37. With his fresh meat win, Darrell had stamped his mark on the challenge forever, locking himself up as a legend in the game by only his fourth challenge season. Darrell is such a strong competitor and athlete. He is an all-star, a legend, an OG that I feel deserves to be in the discussion of GOAT status of the challenge. But that is a discussion and a video topic for another day. But that is it for this video of Darrell's top 10 moments. What'd you think about this list? Let me know down in the comment section below. What do you agree with? What do you disagree with? If you disagree with any of the placements or moments, let me know down in the comment section below why you disagree with me. At this point, I wanna give a special shout out. Thank you to everyone who supports me over at patreon.com slash angelcakevids. Thank you for your support. 
Thank you for your generosity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to everyone who's watching this video up to this point. I'll be back really, really soon with more challenge content, more content in general. But until then, peace.